Welcome back, friends. This week, we're splitting up. <gasps> we're splitting the business 50-50. Bye. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. What's up, guys? Uh, so I'm just about to go get some more materials to build some more cutting boards. We got a lot to do this week. Um, I really don't know how we're going to get it all done, especially because this weekend we have to go to Mississippi to catch up on our Air Force jobs, which we're excited for. It's just a couple of days that we're not going to be spending on the business. And coming up here shortly, Jenny and I are both going to be gone for two weeks to fly because we do winter storm missions also. So we're just trying to get ahead. We're trying to prepare. We're trying to set ourselves up for success. That way in two weeks when we come back, it won't be a disaster of trying to play catch up. And there's a lot that we're trying to do. We're trying to beat last month's sales numbers. We're trying to also restock cutting boards. I want to design a new desk. We need to start designing and posting these products for sale so that when the cutting boards get delivered to the new homeowners, we have stuff to sell them. And that's the whole point of selling the cutting boards. So guys, some of y'all are confused. We're not trying to make money on these cutting boards. We're trying to sell these cutting boards so that we can advertise to our target demo demographic. I, the cutting board for us, if we make money on it, great. If not, it's not the end of the world for us. That's just how we get paid to then make a sales pitch to our target audience. That's also why you should subscribe to the channel so that you understand what's going on week to week. You don't forget anything. So hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, make sure that you get notified every time we post a video and you won't feel left out. That's okay. I'll wait. But it just seems like there's so much to do and it just feels like there's not enough time. So that's my question to you guys. Do you feel like there's not enough hours in the week or do you feel like it's a prioritization problem? Because somebody I really respect a while ago told me that you make time for what you want to make time for. So I'll leave that up for you in the comments to discuss for you personally, you is, do you feel like there's not enough hours in the day or do you feel like it's a priority problem and you should probably trim the fat on some stuff that isn't as high, that's taking more time than it's worth. But I'm filming in the truck right now cause I don't want to bother Jenny. She's super busy right now. Um, we'll get into more of that in a minute, but anyway, um, I guess I'm just going to go get some lumber and then I've got to build the prototype desk. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan, stick to the plan. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan, stick to the plan. But working by myself, I was surprisingly like able to get a lot done. I could keep my own little list 
I personally knew like what tasks I wanted to do next and I don't know, it all flowed pretty nicely. All right, so what all did I do this week? So I followed up with a bunch of realtors that we hadn't heard back from. We got four boards shipped. I did a lot more Instagram um, prospecting and we got our presentation figured out for when we present to realtors at their team meetings. And fun fact, a lot of the realtors that I called had lost their little card with the website and the QR code on it. And so they wanted to order boards that day and they were like, wow, I'm glad you called because I do want to order a couple boards. I just lost the card. We were starting to think things like maybe we didn't give them enough value. Maybe they didn't like the cutting board. Maybe they didn't like how we approached them at open houses. None of those were true. They literally just lost the card. And had I not hesitated and called a week earlier, we probably would have sold more boards than we did this week. Hello. Hello. This week, we we told each other, like, you're not allowed to ask for help from the other person because we just didn't want to get bogged down. We just wanted to try working completely separately for a week and seems like it worked. So what did you do this week? Uh, I did a lot. So you guys saw I went and picked up lumber for some more cutting boards so we can do another batch of those. Um, I designed and almost got done building our desk prototype. I also sold the desk prototype to a friend of ours. There, she was willing to buy the prototype at a slight discount because we don't really have room for it. So I was happy to unload that on her. And then I made a few tweaks for our, our website just because I had the free time to do it. I, I was really shocked with how much I got done. I just think that's surprising that we got so much done this week, even though we weren't helping each other out. I mean, the last couple weeks we've just been helping each other because we thought, oh, there's enough work that, you know, two heads are better than one or two yeah, or four hands will be faster than two. You'll and get it done faster if there's two people working on it, which really wasn't the case. The few times that I needed help or was inconvenienced because I was by myself, I mean, they weren't really as big of a deal as I thought they would be. I mean, you look at the scoreboard and look at how much we got done this week. There's no way, like, that was a lot of stuff for both of us to get done in three days. Mm -hmm. I don't think we've had a week that was that productive. So with that in mind, we looked at the business as a whole. We had a whole flow chart of you know what we imagine when we hire you know 10 to 15 employees of like what different departments we're going to have and so we just divided responsibilities between the two of us and came up with just different roles for both of us and I don't know I will see how it works going forward but I, I'm imagining we're going to get a lot more done now that we're both not working on it. I think so too. And that's a concept we got from the book E-Myth by Michael Gerber. This book has been around a long time but it's been kind of our uh I know our entrepreneur's Bible, so to speak. Of we like, talk about it all the time. If you listen to the podcast at all, it's it's linked in like every single show notes on, at the end of the episode. Yeah, and so that's the topic of this week's podcast was just get out of your own way because everybody gets in their own way. I mean, oh my gosh, at WorkbenchCon last year, uh, D Donnie, Designs by Donnie, he gave a whole like soapbox oh, yeah. spiel on how woodworkers get in our own way all the time. So we really took that to heart and I don't know, that's, that was just what we dove in on the podcast this week. It's been going on now with now like 11. 11, 12 episodes. 12, yeah. It's off to a great start and we'd love to have more of you guys over there. You can watch it on YouTube or anywhere that you get podcasts. But yeah, I'm uh I'm excited. This is this has been fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it worked pretty well. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the play.